Through time, he becomes the eldest son of the Xiao family, Xiao Ding. At the beginning, he takes the Xiao Yan Ring, which is equipped with an endless devouring system. Duki, Abnormal Fire, Elixir, Magic Core, and Soul can all be swallowed. Be a junior apprentice of Yun Yun, create an auction for concubinia, let the Heavenly Snake Mansion serve as a private tutor of Qin Scale, the Emperor Jade as a dowry, help the Queen relocate the Snake Man, accompany the Taishu Ancient Dragon, and follow the Purple Crystal Winged Lion King. Cultivate the strongest martial arts, build the strongest power, devour the heavens and devour the earth, suppress the soul clan with one hand, dominate the heavens and the earth, and I am the god in three thousand worlds. Keywords of the novel Endless devotion of Dopa with no pop-ups, endless devotion of Dopa with TXT complete collection download, endless devotion of Dopa latest chapter reading. Chapter 1 Kicking Xiao Yan's Younger Brother you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 Kicking Xiao Yan's Younger Brother in the Evening, in the Backyard of the Xiao Family in Wutan City. Ouch! With a painful cry, a child with black hair and eyes, aged five or six, flew out of the door and landed solidly on the grass outside. Big brother, can you be gentle? Xiao Yan rubbed his buttocks and gritted his teeth in pain. Xiao Yanzi, it's almost dark this day. What are you sneaking into someone else's girl's room for? A teenager of eleven or twelve years old walked out of the door, his eyes bright and profound, containing wisdom and maturity. Xiao Yan felt a bit uneasy all over when his older brother saw him. He appears to be only six years old on the outside, but his soul is actually an uncle. His psychological age is already an adult, and when an adult runs into a little girl's house at night and is discovered, he suddenly feels a little guilty. Xiao Yan didn't know that the big brother across from him was also in a similar situation at the moment, and his big brother had been here every night for more than half a year, which is why he crouched down and this scene appeared. He grumbled unwillingly, I want to warm and nourish Sunur's meridians, which will help her practice in the future. Do you mean to warm and nourish your meridians with your cultivation level of only two levels of fighting qi? Xiao Ding walked over and slammed Xiao Yan's head in frustration. He then turned his head to look at the probing little girl and said with righteousness, Little brother, your skills are too shallow to do this. It's better for big brother to wash Sunur's tendons and marrow. After speaking, he kicked Xiao Yan away. Xiao Yan screamed in agony, fell a dog and ate shit, feeling extremely depressed. Big brother, I'm not a ball. You kicked me twice. Xiao Ding carried his hands behind his back and said in a mature manner, go back and practice your skills quickly. You have good talent, don't waste your time here. Xiao Yan got up in a huff and said, okay, big brother. When I work hard to cultivate, one day I will surpass you and kick your butt. Okay, it depends on whether you have the ability or not. Xiao Ding laughed heartily and sent the third person, who had a decent appearance and was already an old man, to look at the door with a touch of purple. Sun Er giggled like a silver bell, thinking that Xiao Ding was playing Xiao Yan fun. Xiao Ding walked over and looked at the cute girl in front of him, who was about five years old and had fair and tender skin, like a gemstone carving. He chuckled and said, Sun Er, come on, Brother, continue to help you warm and nourish your meridians. Sun Er's big eyes rolled and she looked up at Xiao Ding, nodding obediently, Thank you, Brother Ding. Xiao Ding pinched Sun Er's face, causing a burst of laughter. He sighed inwardly, This girl is so cute, no wonder the whole family likes her. After a moment of playfulness, the two of them sat on the bed, with his hand on Sun Er's back. He concentrated his mind and calmed down, slowly injecting a strand of fighting spirit into Sunur's body, washing her tendons and cutting her marrow. Ding, we have detected Emperor Jin's burning inflammation. Insufficient level, unable to devour abnormal fire function as it has not been activated. Upon seeing the system prompt popping up, Xiao Ding's expression remained calm. Since staying up late to cultivate immortality, his soul has come to this world and become the young master of the Xiao family. Xiao Ding has been around for more than a decade, 
and the standard system of the time traveler naturally runs for the same time. His system is called Endless Phagocytosis System, which can devour the essence of all things in the world for him to absorb to improve himself. There are many things that can be swallowed, such as fighting chi, natural materials and earth treasures, different fire, pills, etc. Even soul, martial arts, etc. can be swallowed, from which essence can be obtained. However, due to the current insufficient level, many types that can be devoured have not yet been activated, and the devouring method is also contact-based. As for the system level, it is calculated based on its strength, with each small level being at level 1. For example, if the Do Chi is at level 1, it will be at level 1, and if it is at level 10, it will be at level 10, and so on. For example, if it is currently a 1-star Do, it will correspond to level 11. And the level will affect the upper limit of the system's devouring ability and the proportion of its harvest after devouring everything. Among them, devouring ability refers to the amount of energy, soul, or material that the system can devour in a certain period of time, calculated as a multiple of its level. For example, at level 1, the system can only devour twice the upper limit of the energy absorbed during its own cultivation. As for the harvest ratio, it is very simple, that is, the system share ratio. At level 1, the proportion of essence he will harvest is 1%. That is to say, if he has level 100, theoretically the upper limit of swallowing is 100 times the speed of swallowing energy during his own cultivation, and the essence obtained is all his. Thanks to these, during his seven years of qi cultivation at the age of four, he relied solely on the extra do qi consumed by the system to make his cultivation much faster than his peers, and has become the first genius of the Shao family and even the Wutan city. Even now, he is compensating for his own consumption with the fighting energy consumed by the system. Brother Ding, have you successfully condensed the cyclone of Do and advanced to Do? Feeling the pure energy entering her body, Sunar Chioshue's eyes lit up and she spoke in surprise. Sunar's younger sister is really smart. She was the first to discover that her brother had already broken through. Xiao Ding glanced at Sunar again and this girl was truly the person with the strongest bloodline of the Do Emperor in the ancient tribe for thousands of years. Even though her bloodline had not fully awakened, this sense of induction was still very powerful. Brother Ding, you help Sunar wash her tendons and marrow every day. Sunar can personally experience the difference between fighting spirit and fighting spirit. Sun Air, with a rare maturity and intelligence in her age group, showed a flower-like smile and said, Congratulations to Brother Ding. He advanced to the Do at the age of eleven, not even in Yutan City or the Gama Empire. Shu, keep a low profile. I don't want too many people to know yet. You need to help me keep it a secret first. Xiao Ding is not in a hurry to make a name for himself, so he has been developing in a sleazy way for the past eleven years, trying to hide his true strength as much as possible, and secretly devouring the Do Qi through the system. As soon as he breaks through to the Do, no one knows. Outside, his cultivation level is still in the ninth stage of Doji Qi, and he is already considered a top genius in Wutan City, once in a hundred years in the Shao family, but not a demon. If someone knew he was breaking through so quickly, it would be very demonic. It's right to keep a low profile before you have a reliable support or sufficient strength. Well, Sunir won't talk nonsense. Sunir really likes Xiao Ding's trust, with a smile like a flower and a shallow eyebrow like a crescent moon. Someone heard it secretly. This kid's mind is like a fox, and his talent is still so outstanding. He may achieve great success in the future. Perhaps this declining Shao clan can revive. Ling Ying murmured in her heart. It seems that I still underestimate the Shao family, to the extent that I don't pay much attention to the descendants of the Shao family in my daily life, and actually overlook such a genius. In this environment, the talent of the eleven-year-old advanced fighter is no less than that of the core members of the ancient tribe. After all, the Qi of Do is the foundational stage, and cultivation is very slow. Many people find it difficult to become Do practitioners after 20 years of cultivation. 
He sighed silently, continuing to hide in the darkness. Due to the fact that tonight's fighting spirit is much more pure than fighting spirit, and the effect of washing tendons and marrow is also very good, Sun Air quickly sweats profusely. Brother Ding, I'm so hot, but my whole body is warm. Sun Air's fragrant sweat dripped profusely. Let's call it a day tonight. Xiao Ding withdrew his fighting spirit, picked up a scarf to wipe Sun Air's sweat, and at the same time opened his own system to observe. He also broke through today, and the system should have unlocked a new edible category. As far as he knows, the system seems to open a new devouring category every 10 levels. Level 1 is the type of devouring called Dou Chi, but now he happens to be at level 11, so there should be a change. I don't know what will be unlocked except for the type of devourable Dou Chi. Owner Xiao Ding Level Level 11 Cultivation one star dipper attribute. Wood upper limit of phagocytosis. 11 times split ratio. 11% swallowing types. Doji Qi, medicine. To be unlocked, devouring attribute. Wood, attribute plus one, can increase the host's attribute by one, please choose. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Medication Elder. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 2 Medication Elder His eyes lit up, and when he reached level 11, he not only added a medicinal variety that could be consumed, but also added an additional talent attribute. Previously, he could only devour the wood attribute Do Chi, and other attributes of power were temporarily unable to be devoured, so he was not in a hurry to find the medicine elder. After all, it is difficult for wooden attribute fighters to become alchemists, at least not at low levels. Now that he can add attributes, he naturally decided without hesitation to add fire attributes. After all, wood can make fire, and these two attributes have a complementary effect, which when combined will be even more powerful. In this way, he can not only become a noble alchemist, but also cultivate the special skill of burning and resolving from the pharmacist. Moreover, Fenju also has the attribute of devouring abnormal fire, which complements the system. He immediately chose to use this reward. You can add a basic attribute. Please select the following attributes. Gold, fire, water, earth, wind, thunder, ice, light, and darkness. Once selected, they cannot be cancelled. Glancing at the prompt, he ultimately made a resolute decision to choose the fire attribute. Although wind and lightning attributes are very powerful, at present, fire attributes are still the most valuable. After making the choice, a special aura suddenly appeared in his body, and the fire attribute of Doji Chi in the void became clear. He knows that he can absorb the energy of fire attribute combat, which is a talent of fire attribute. Sooner, take a shower and have a good night's sleep. Brother is leaving. After wiping the sweat off Sunner's face, Xiao Ding touched Sunner's head and jumped out of bed to leave. Sun Air blushed as she watched Xiao Ding leave and muttered, Wood generates fire. Xiao Ding's wood attribute fighting spirit is quite suitable for my physique. Xiao Ding went straight back to his room and immediately began practicing. His mind sank into his body and quickly came from his lower abdomen. After advancing to the dough, the most significant sign is not only the condensation of Do Qi into a cyclone and the birth of Do Qi, but also the ability to see inside. The stronger one's strength, the more details one can perceive from within, and the stronger one's control over one's own body and fighting spirit. At this moment, in the Dantian space, a light green cyclone is spinning, constantly absorbing energy between heaven and earth. Beside the cyclone, there was an extra fiery red spot of light, containing scorching energy from its source. Underneath them is a deep, bottomless black hole carrying two cyclones. Eh, the fire energy in my body is not contained within the wood cyclone. Xiao Ding was surprised. Judging by this, did he mean to cultivate another cyclone? It's enough for ordinary people to cultivate one cyclone. I have a system. If we don't cultivate more cyclones, wouldn't it be a waste of essence energy consumed by the system? 
Xiao Ding suddenly realized that the proportion of energy he could currently divide was 11%, but the upper limit of energy absorbed by the system was 11 times that of him. Coincidentally, the amount of dou qi consumed by the system at every moment was more than the amount of dou qi absorbed by him during his full cultivation. Except for some poor quality, there is not much difference in quantity. Even if all of it is given to the fire attribute cyclone, with an additional refining process, he will not be greatly affected. When he improves a few levels, his cultivation speed can actually surpass that of his peers. He didn't hesitate to practice, absorbing Dookie to enhance the wood attribute Doe's cyclone, while the system devoured all the fire attribute Doe's chi to cultivate the fire attribute Doe's cyclone. The realm is already a combatant, and the cultivation of the fire cyclone can be considered a familiar journey. In just one night, the fire cyclone was successfully condensed. After reaching the limit of the realm, the cultivation speed of fire cyclone is no different from that of wood cyclone. Xiao Ding swallowed up half of the system's share, allowing both major cyclones to receive additional energy replenishment, without reducing the cultivation speed too much. Dong Dong. Big brother, are you up yet? That kid Galio is going to challenge us. Should we take it? A clear voice sounded from outside the door. After listening, Xiao Ding stopped practicing and opened the door for an eight or nine year old boy to come in. This boy bears some resemblance to him, but his face is slightly feminine, unlike his graceful and imposing demeanor. It is his second brother Xiao Li. Xiao Li said fiercely, Big brother, can't you pick him up? I want to beat him up again. Xiao Ding's lack of interest asked, What should we do with a trash with a five stage fighting spirit? Well, big brother, I'm only in the fifth stage of Dou Qi. Xiao Li listened awkwardly. You're not a waste. You're three years younger than him, and after three years, at least you'll also have a nine dan fighting spirit. Xiao Ding shook his head. He was two years older than Xiao Li, five years older than Xiao Yan, and one year younger than Galio. However, his cultivation level was only nine dan six months ago, and he had taught Galio a lesson, which was very easy. This time, Galio probably found someone to help and prepare to retrieve the venue. But he really has no interest in bullying children. That's right, we can't waste time on such people. Xiao Li gave up his fierce thoughts and said, I overheard Dad and his team saying they want to go to the Warcraft Mountains, why don't we go see the world together? Big brother, if you speak up, Dad will definitely agree. I've thought too much, we're still too young, and the Warcraft Mountains are full of danger. How could Dad let us follow? Xiao Ding shook his head and said, It's better to cultivate well. Wait a few more years, there will be a chance. He still wants to survive for a while, at least one star fighter is not enough. Listen to Big Brother. Xiao Li admires Big Brother the most and no longer considers these messy things. Let the second younger brother practice, Xiao Ding thought for a moment and prepared to take the medicine elder. As the legitimate lineage of the Xiao family, each of the three brothers has a yard. As soon as he came out, he saw Xiao Yan lying on the grass and couldn't help but say, why don't you practice early in the morning? Big brother, I miss my mother a bit. Xiao Yan looked at the black ring on his finger with some sadness, which was the only thing his mother had left for him. Life and death are predetermined. My mother is too weak and has been injured, so she left a bit early. Xiao Ding sighed. He spent the longest time with his mother, but unfortunately his system was too weak, which did not allow him to go against the sky from birth, and even had more auxiliary effects. In addition, when he was only a few years old, let alone save his mother. It is precisely for this reason that he became increasingly cautious and did not want to die young like his mother. Could it be because I was born? Xiao Yan felt some self-blame. Xiao Ding frowned. Among the three brothers, Xiao Yan had the best talent and was a once.in.a.century genius in the Xiao family. Indeed, during pregnancy, he would consume too much of his mother's essence. But he wouldn't say anything about it. He walked over and took off the ring, saying, 
I knew I had a wild idea in a day. I'll take this ring and keep it for you. Don't think about people, you're secretly hurt. He was worried about having no reason to take the ring. He was originally planning to steal it directly, but now he just took advantage of the situation. Xiao Yan stood up and said, Give it back to me. This is a gift from my mother. Just keep the gift in your heart, it affects your cultivation. It's better to give it to me. Xiao Ding didn't hesitate to wear it on his hand. Ding, soul body detected. Insufficient level, soul devouring function not enabled, unable to devour. The improvement of the system made Xiao Ding secretly happy that he could indeed devour his soul, but he didn't know when he could unlock it. He kicked Xiao Yan's buttocks and said, Get out and practice quickly. Strength is paramount in this world. Don't you want to be unable to save your loved ones in the future because your strength is not enough? Humph, I knew I wouldn't have told you these things, big brother. Xiao Yan glared at Xiao Ding without much concern thinking that it was because his elder brother treated him well that he did so. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Swallowing Medicinal Materials You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Swallowing Medicinal Materials Seeing his third brother return to the room for cultivation, Xiao Ding's smile narrowed and his gaze looked distant. Xiao Yanzi, your elder brother and I have a system and know many things about the future. Grandpa, I will accept it and definitely make greater use of it. He turned around and went back. Through meditation and cultivation, the medicine elder did not immediately secretly absorb his fighting spirit. Xiao Ding is not in a hurry, after all, he has changed people. It's normal to be more cautious. He continued to practice as usual, and after half a month, the fighting spirit he absorbed suddenly disappeared. Pretending to be surprised, he specifically investigated but ultimately couldn't find the reason. He has a low cultivation level at the moment and can't be found, so he hasn't cheated. If it weren't for his knowledge of the existence of Yao Lao, he would probably treat it as a strange disease like Xiao Yen. Old man, just suck it up. It will always make you pay back your capital and profits. Xiao Ding groaned in his heart and continued to use the power of the system to cultivate. He couldn't detect the old medicine, and similarly, the old medicine couldn't detect the existence of the system, only considering it as a special bloodline power. Xiao Ding's cultivation speed has decreased by half, and he thought that the system can not only devour the dochi in the void, but also devour medicines. Take some medication and recover as soon as possible. I want to get the burning technique. Xiao Ding secretly decided. After advancing to the level of a fighter, he needs to cultivate an advanced martial arts technique, and the burning technique is the most suitable. Although this technique was initially at its lowest level, it can grow much more than if he had to switch to practicing a mysterious level technique after completing it. He took all his money and scraped away the wallets of his two younger brothers, taking them alone to a small neighborhood market. He doesn't want any elixirs and is prepared to secretly buy medicinal herbs to try. He believes that drugs definitely include medicinal herbs. Looking at the stalls along the street, there were various medicinal herbs, medicines, weapons, and even Warcraft crystals. He stopped in front of a pile of ginseng and picked up a stick to observe. Ding, medicinal herbs detected. Meets the phagocytic criteria, will it be phagocytic? Xiao Ding asked calmly, Boss, how do you sell it? The small one costs 10 gold coins, and the large one costs 20 gold coins, replied the vendor, taking a puff of dry smoke. I'll buy more medicinal herbs and give me a discount. Xiao Ding had only a few hundred gold coins in his bag, so he naturally wanted to buy as many as possible. If you buy more than 100 gold coins, I'll give you a 10% discount, a 20% discount on 300 coins, and a 70% discount on 1000 coins. The old man spoke confidently, and they basically offered discounts to those who bought more medicinal herbs. Xiao Ding took some ginseng and angelica, various medicinal herbs, mostly for tonics and also for healing and detoxification, about ten kinds. After spending all the money, 
he left with a bag of medicinal herbs. Returning to the house, he asked the servant to prepare a bucket of hot water and then took off the ring. It is natural to avoid taking a shower as much as possible when determining the current situation of the pharmacist. In the steaming water, Xiao Ding picked up a ginseng and swallowed it directly. A pure medicinal force appeared in his body, without any impurities. Under the diffusion of the medicine, his whole body was warm and radiant. After cultivation, a portion of the energy in the medicine is directly converted into fighting qi, while another portion is absorbed by the body, which accelerates the speed at which he absorbs fighting qi. It's really effective. It should be that the system only swallowed essence, otherwise I would have no effect if I only ate ginseng. Xiao Ding looked at the ginseng thoughtfully, and it became withered and dull, without its original luster, as if it were decaying. He shook hands and in a sneering voice, the ginseng was crushed into pieces and fell into the wooden barrel. It's really fragile. It's totally decayed, without any essence. Xiao Ding was surprised, it was indeed the system that swallowed it, it was really clean, there was nothing left. Picking up the medicinal herbs and continuing to devour them, strands of pure medicinal power continuously enter the body. This medicinal power is more than ten times that the body can absorb when simply taking medicinal herbs, or even more, otherwise the effect would not be so obvious. The value of medicinal herbs has also been demonstrated more than ten times, which is very suitable for me as a poor person. Xiao Ding thought happily and continued to actively absorb the medicine. This is a tonic, its medicinal power not only strengthens his body, but also promotes his cultivation speed, comparable to the power of even more precious pills. After trying tonics, he devoured healing herbs and still managed to strengthen his body. Moreover, some hidden injuries in his body were also repaired under the power of the medicine. The most magical thing is that when he devours a medicinal herb that calms the mind and calms the mind, its medicinal power makes Xiao Ding's head calm like water, without any distractions, and his sense of fighting spirit becomes much stronger. He simply combined absorption, just like an alchemist combining different medicinal herbs when refining medicine. He directly combined the medicinal power, which almost doubled the cultivation speed. Half a day had passed, and in the evening, Xiao Ding stopped with a rosy face. His cultivation had increased significantly, and only about one twentieth of the medicinal herbs had been consumed. This cost is too cheap. He estimates that the value of pills with similar effects is more than a hundred times that of these medicinal herbs, and it is not something he can afford at this stage. Although I haven't used pills yet, the effect of this method is better than taking pills, and there are no negative effects at all. Xiao Ding looked satisfied. He swallowed the purest medicinal power in the herbs, and there were also some toxins in the pills that were harmful to the body. Ordinary people should not eat too much. Compared to others, this method can completely crush the effect of taking pills. Especially if he prepares medicinal herbs in the proportion of a certain pill and swallows them at the same time, the purest combination of medicinal powers is estimated to have better effects than top-notch pills. So, wouldn't he be able to replace pills with a combination of medicinal herbs? The only problem is that even the materials required for the lowest grade pills are quite expensive, estimated to cost thousands of gold coins per pair, and he can't afford it at this moment. Isn't there a little rich woman? Xiao Ding let out a wicked smile, got up from the bucket, washed away the medicinal residue on his body with water, put on his clothes, put on his ring, and swaggered to Sun Er's room. He didn't throw away the ring, ready to make the old medicine man think he was relying on medication to solve his own problem. Oh, what a strong medicinal smell! Brother Xiao Ding, what did you do? Sun Er's rosy cherry lips pouted, making her nose uncomfortable to pinch. Uh, my brother has been feeling a bit unwell lately, so he took a medicinal bath. Xiao Ding smiled awkwardly, soaking himself in the medicine residue. He probably got used to it and didn't pay attention to how strong the medicinal smell was on his body. Ah, uh, Brother Xiao Ding, are you sick? Sunner let go of her nose, her big eyes feeling a bit distressed. She reached out her short hand and ran to the bed, 
tiptoeing to touch Xiao Ding's forehead. It's okay, I encountered a small problem while practicing. Just take a few pills and it will be fine. Xiao Ding rubbed Sunar's head and said, Come on, carry out daily tasks. No, brother Xiao Ding, if you're feeling unwell, you don't need to help Sun Er wash her tendons and cut her marrow. Sun Er carried her small hands on her back and shook her head like an adult. Your brother and I have a deep cultivation. Helping you clean your tendons and marrow is just a small matter. It won't waste much fighting spirit, but rather how long you can bear it. Xiao Ding grinned and sat down with Sun Er, starting to wash his tendons and marrow. Sun Er's beautiful eyes showed a touch of emotion. Although she was very peaceful in the Xiao family, she ultimately had no family members. Xiao Ding's concern made her feel extremely warm in her heart. End of this chapter Chapter 4 It's time to go out and work. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 It's time to go out and work half an hour later, Xiao Ding wiped Sunar's sweat and coughed, thinking of his purpose for coming over. I heard from my father that Sunar has a lot of pocket money. I wonder if he can lend some to his brother, he said Sun Er looked at Xiao Ding with a smile and said, he's only five years old, is it okay for him to borrow money? Facing these autumn-like eyes, Xiao Ding felt a bit embarrassed, but with thick skin, he quickly recovered. My older brother didn't treat Sunar as a child, but as a younger sister, so I won't be seen outside. Sunar's smile became much stronger, and Xiao Ding's trust made her very happy. She touched her body with her little hand and took out a black card to hand to Xiao Ding. Thank you Sunar, I will definitely return it to you. Xiao Ding pinched Sunar's face and took the black card. Lending money to my brother, Sunar has a request that my brother no longer pinches someone's face. Sun Er broke free from Xiao Ding's clutches and gave a sly smile. Well, don't pinch your face. Touch your head next time. Good night. He walked out of the room, leaving Sun Er feeling full of anger. Looking at the night, he had a smile on his face and felt particularly relaxed. He originally came here to prevent Xiao Yan from wasting his fighting energy with Sun Er, but after spending a year together, Sun Er is really cute. He also regards this as a leisure activity outside of his daily cultivation. The black card has a limit of 5,000, which is enough to use it for a while. He took the card and went back to continue his cultivation. There was a large amount of money, and Xiao Ding was not in a hurry to buy the medicinal materials needed for the pill. Instead, he tried his best to buy cheap medicinal materials to devour. He felt that he should gradually progress. Nowadays, ordinary medicinal herbs can meet his cultivation needs. If the medicinal power is too strong and exceeds the body's absorption limit, it will be harmful and not beneficial. And ordinary medicinal herbs can be used for a month for two to three hundred gold coins, which is very cheap. Next, he tried to purchase cheaper medicinal herbs and achieved good results through pairing, reducing the cost significantly. 150 gold coins per month is enough. By devouring medicinal herbs, his cultivation speed was still 50% faster than normal, even after removing the influence of the old medicine and practicing two doji cyclones at the same time. The money borrowed from Sunar was enough for him to use for a long time, and Xiao Ding continued to develop lewdly. Time flies, two years have passed. Xiao Ding turned 13 years old. During this period, Xiao Ding rarely went out. Apart from warming and nourishing his meridians for Sun Air and participating in some family activities, he mostly focused on cultivation. The second and third younger brothers were influenced by him and practiced very hard, resulting in a significant improvement in their cultivation. On this day, his cultivation broke through once again, reaching the level of the eight-star Do. Due to the influence of Yao Lao's absorption of Do Qi, he has improved by seven stars in the past two years, much better than Xiao Yan who was originally going to regress. Xiao Ding looked at the medicine residue on the ground, but frowned. In fact, as his cultivation increases, the Do Qi provided by the system also increases. 
At level 18, the Do Qi consumed by the system is more than three times the energy he absorbs from heaven and earth during normal cultivation. However, the increase in medicinal power brought by ordinary herbs is decreasing at a faster rate, which leads to a relatively slower cultivation speed. And I owe Sunner money for two years, and if I don't repay him, I'll become a scoundrel. It's time for Yao Lao to come out and work to repay the money. He considered it for a moment and made a decision. After taking a shower to remove the smell of medicine, he put on his clothes and went to his room, looking at the black ring placed on the table. You've been sucking on my fighting spirit for two years, shouldn't you have some reaction now? He spoke coldly, ready to force the old medicine out today. According to his estimation, the other party is likely to have awakened. Normally, although this old man only appeared after absorbing Xiao Yan's fighting spirit for three years, with his cautious personality, he must have awakened long ago. His cultivation level is much higher than that of Xiao Yan in the same state, and he absorbs more energy from heaven and earth. Two years is enough for this old man to recover. Seeing no response, he sneered and said, if I don't come out again, I'll give this ring to the strong for research. If the spirit doesn't work, then the Do King. Coincidentally, our Xiao and Nalan families have a good relationship, and their Do King seems very willing to study this strange thing that can swallow people's fighting spirit. As soon as these words were spoken, the ring trembled instantly. Hey, little friend, you are so careful. You are as intelligent as a fox. I am so careful that you can still discover the source of the disappearance of fighting spirit. The voice of the elderly sounded, and a transparent figure floated out like green smoke, with a helpless expression. He looked at this kid strangely in his heart at the moment, not understanding why he had been sucking for two years, and how could this kid's cultivation speed still be so fast. You even caught him, what the hell? Xiao Ding's face was calm and calm, and he couldn't tell any signs of panic. He looked at Yao Lao and said, it turns out to be a soul body. You can exist in this state. I think you used to be a strong person, maybe you're still an alchemist. Little one, you're so smart. I never expected this border town to have you and others like you. Yao Lao looked at Xiao Ding in amazement. It was the first time he had met such a smart young man. When faced with his calm demeanor, he thought he couldn't do it in the same situation. I rely more on books to read. Xiao Ding grinned, he really dared to deceive the old man by reading books. Although he knew the essence of medicine, he still spoke up and asked, Tell me, what is your background? Yao Lao sighed and said, My surname is Yao. You guessed correctly just now. I used to be a strong person, and I am really an alchemist. In some unexpected circumstances, my physical body was destroyed, and I had to sleep soundly in this ring. Unfortunately, I sucked into my friend's fighting spirit. Please forgive me. I have no malicious intentions. I know you don't look like a villain, but if you've been sucking on my fighting spirit for two years, you'll have to make up for it. Xiao Ding came straight to the point and didn't force the old man too much. He wanted benefits directly. Yao Lao breathed a sigh of relief. If he wanted benefits, it meant they could still cooperate. He smiled kindly and said, What do you want, little friend? You would rather expose yourself than absorb my fighting spirit to recover, which means you should be losing your soul. Now that you can still wake up, how do you think this life that saving grace is worth? Xiao Ding asked meaningfully. Yao Lao scolded the little fox with a smile on his face and said, Indeed, you are my savior. As long as I have something, you can do whatever you want. Nature wants the most precious thing on you, preferably a cultivation technique or something like that. I am currently lacking an advanced cultivation technique, and it seems that you are very powerful. Do you have a heavenly level cultivation technique? Xiao Ding said without hesitation, pointing directly at the burning formula. You're really impolite. Yao Lao couldn't help but say, where is the heavenly level technique that everyone has? I think you have, why, you can take out anything you just said, and now you can't bear to part with it. 
Xiao Ding glanced sideways at Yao Lao, looking down on you. Yao Lao was so angry that he blew his beard and glared, I really don't have the heavenly level technique, but there is a technique that may be even more mysterious than the heavenly level technique, and it is also the most precious one that I think I have on my body. But let me make it clear to you in advance that the risk of practicing this technique is very high, and I dare not even practice it back then. That's it, you dare not practice. Maybe I can take it out and take a look. Xiao Ding showed a newborn calf fearless of tigers. Young man, once you understand the situation of this cultivation method, you probably won't say such things. Yao Lao shook his head and took out a black antique scroll. With a complex expression, he said, this is a technique that I have worked hard to obtain. The risk of cultivation is very high. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 What I owe you in my previous life. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 What I owe you in my previous life Xiao Ding grabbed it and turned it into a scroll of information that flooded into his mind. Yao Lao was stunned and said, can you wait for me to finish explaining the risks first? Since it's the skill you've been working hard to obtain, it's naturally extraordinary. Even if I talk about risks, I can't help but practice. Why talk nonsense? Xiao Ding shrugged his shoulders and quickly absorbed the information of the martial arts. Yao Lao shook his head helplessly and said, you're overconfident. Don't blame me for practicing to death. As a result, he saw Xiao Ding closing his eyes and practicing directly, feeling extremely angry. He kindly wanted to remind him that this guy didn't appreciate it. Xiao Ding was naturally not afraid of the danger of being burned down. His younger brother can even practice this without a system, why is he afraid of cheating? After advancing to the dough, Xiao Ding had already to cultivate his martial arts. He had endured not practicing his family's martial arts before, but had to wait for this burning decision. As he operated the burning decision, two cyclones in the Dantian accelerated their movement, with the fire attribute cyclones becoming darker in color and turning into light yellow. The wood attribute cyclone remains green and has not been changed to fire attribute. Xiao Ding was not surprised. Unlike ordinary fighters, his internal attribute power and system are bound, and Burning Jew can only change his way of cultivating Duki, but cannot change his attributes. That is to say, the cyclone he cultivates is actually the storage point after the system devours power. Opening his eyes, he smiled and said, Next, when you have time, you can help me refine medicine, which can be considered as working to pay rent. Yao Lao's face turned black and he said, is this burning decision not enough for me? Of course it's not enough, and aren't we working together? You can use my power to restore soul power, and I'll get some rewards from you, and you're not at a loss. Xiao Ding takes it for granted. What a little fox, I owe you something, okay? Yao Lao felt a bit regretful for not being able to resist swallowing the fighting spirit of this little fox. He felt like he had fallen into a big pit, still feeling like he didn't see the bottom. Yao Lao, don't worry, I'm a good person. If you follow me, you won't suffer any losses. Xiao Ding solemnly said something. Yao Lao was dumbfounded. Why does this sound like a thug talking to me? Are you sure you're a good person? He dispelled some thoughts, threw out a prescription, left a sentence, and returned to the ring in frustration. First, go buy these medicinal herbs. My current strength can only refine low-dot-level medicinal liquids. Xiao Ding glanced at the prescription and as expected, it was still the foundation-building spirit liquid. This indicates that Yao Lao is indeed very weak, otherwise he would have refined more advanced drugs. He has a system to consume energy himself, so he doesn't have to rely too much on pills and other things. Let the old medicine master refine the medicine, mainly to make money. In this Duki continent, apart from the killing and arson gold belt, only this alchemist can earn money quickly. Holding Sunner's card, Xiao Ding returned to the market and used his last penny to purchase the necessary medicinal herbs. Due to the limited amount of money, 
after discussing with the pharmacist, some materials only meet the minimum requirements of the pharmacist. When he returned home, he closed the door and placed the medicinal herbs on the table, shouting, Doctor, come out and work. Yao Lao floated out, his head smoking. He was so angry that this guy really treats him like a servant and still works. Xiao Ding hugged his arms and sneered, You're not open dot minded enough. Why do you always feel frustrated all day? I really owe you something from my previous life. Yao Lao rolled his eyes. He was too lazy to argue with Xiao Ding. He picked up the medicine, raised his hand and gave a puff. A white flame burst out and began to refine the essence of the medicine. Xiao Ding watched quietly. Is this the bone spirit cold fire? Just looking at it makes him feel extremely dangerous. It is truly the most powerful thing in this dookie continent. Kid, do you want to learn? Yao Lao saw that Xiao Ding was taking it seriously, raised his head, and said mysteriously, If you want to learn, then worship me as your teacher. No, teaching me how to refine medicine is a favor you owe me. I can only call you senior at most. Xiao Ding shook his head. He has his own plan and cannot apprentice now. After all, both sides are not familiar enough, especially since he has coerced Yao Lao. It's not too late to say goodbye when the time is right. You kid, do you know how many people in this dookie continent want to learn from me? If you line up, you can line up from here to the Warcraft Mountains. Yao Lao stared blankly. I don't know, you don't have to say it either. I don't want to hear it even if I say it. Dot. Yao Lao swore that he had never seen someone with such a cheap mouth before, and it made him want to hit someone. He was sulking and refined the foundation building spirit liquid, then put it into a bottle and threw it to Xiao Ding. The medicinal bath was only suitable for absorption. This thing was originally only suitable for fighters. With your cultivation, pour more and reluctantly use it. My soul power is too weak now, and I cannot refine too advanced for the time being. No, I'm going to sell this one. First, make money and become a millionaire. Xiao Ding glanced at the light green liquid and smiled mischievously, next is borrowing chicken to lay eggs. You're the chicken, are you trying to exhaust me? Yao Lao's eyebrows twitched as he listened, so, refining ten portions of spiritual liquid a day, isn't it easy for you, a senior alchemist? I just recovered. Okay, I understand you. Five servings a day. Up to three servings. It's also possible. At this stage, having three jobs should earn a lot of money. Xiao Ding smiled and held the foundation building spirit liquid, making Yao Lao feel like he had talked too much. He is not very clear about the market situation in this small city. Not to mention three times a day or three times a month, they are enough to make Xiao Ding rich. This time, Xiao Ding had to deal with the classified medicinal liquid. He didn't go to the street stalls or ordinary markets anymore. Those places either couldn't be eaten or lacked confidentiality. Under no other circumstances, he dressed up and came to the middle auction house. As an auction house run by the three major families of the Gamma Empire, this place can be considered the most luxurious place in Yutan City, with dense crowds and extraordinary liveliness in the magnificent buildings. Xiao Ding appeared wearing a black robe and a cloak that covered his head. He has a relatively burly figure and is also well developed. At the age of 13, he is already about 1.7 meters tall. When covered by his whole body, he looks similar to an adult. However, he still made some disguise, adding height pads to his shoes and stuffing cotton into his clothes, making him look a bit chubby. In his past life, he had also seen some aspects of the world, and such a place couldn't hold him back. Xiao Ding ignored the guards at the door and strode into the auction house with his head held high. The cloak obscured some of his vision, and as soon as Xiao Ding entered, he collided with a soft yet elastic body, emitting a faint fragrance through his nostrils. Oh, it hurts so much. The latter moaned softly and quickly covered his forehead, stumbling backwards, 
being held steady by Xiao Ding's big hand on his fragrant shoulder. Sorry. Xiao Ding apologized, but at the same time, he looked at the person in front of him up close and couldn't help but have a slightly brighter gaze, feeling particularly stunned. This is a girl of similar age to him, and she is also more mature compared to her peers. She was dressed in a red short skirt, tied with a silver lace, with a willow waist and a plump grip. Her chest was bulging, revealing a touch of snow. White. Her thighs were long and straight, without any excess flesh, like carved jade. Her hair is black and smooth, her eyebrows are long and slightly curved, her peach blossom eyes are narrow and have a hazy luster, her red lips are moist, her skin is snowy, and there is a hint of baby fat, which makes people can't help but look more. It has to be said that this young girl is not very old, but she has a sexy and seductive aura all over her body, appearing very mature, but also mixed with a lively and lovely temperament of the girl, which is quite attractive. End of this chapter Chapter 6 A Pure Person Like Me You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 A Pure Person Like Me Well, in the face of sexiness, cuteness is not enough to look at. Sun Air's cuteness is similar to the cute feeling of cats and dogs, and this sexiness belongs to the special impulse of men towards women. Being scrutinized from top to bottom by Xiao Ding's gaze, Concubine Ye blushed slightly and quickly took a step back. It's okay, I ran too fast just now and didn't pay attention. Are you from Middle Auction House? I'm not familiar with this place, can you lead the way? Xiao Ding casually asked about the Mitel Auction House's logo that fell on the girl's shoulder. Um. Okay, what do you need, my esteemed guest? Yifei suddenly showed a gentle smile. She was learning to receive guests here recently, so she decided to practice with this person. Selling things. Xiao Ding's gaze shifted and he observed in the hall. Sir, this way, please. Yifei skillfully leads the way. I don't know what your name is yet. Xiao Ding felt a bit tempted by his peers for the first time and began to inquire. You can call me Yifei. Dot. The girl pursed her lips and smiled, her youth was moving. Yifei. Xiao Ding paused his steps and couldn't help but take a few more glances. It turned out to be the core member of the Mitel family, no wonder he was so beautiful. Is there any problem? Yifei keenly noticed a change in Xiao Ding's gaze. No, it sounds great. Are you interested in making friends? Xiao Ding subconsciously began to flirt with his sister. Yifei is still young, isn't that quite appropriate? Yifei smiled awkwardly. Xiao Ding's soul is an adult, and at this moment, he covers his appearance, making his every move and gesture feel like she is an adult, not a teenager of the same age. It's okay, we'll get to know each other soon. Xiao Ding didn't care and smiled. He took out a medicine bottle and placed it in Yifei's delicate hands, while they arrived at a place called the Treasure Appraisal Room. An hour later, Empress Yifei passionately sent Xiao Ding out with a respectful attitude. She watched Xiao Ding leave and muttered softly, This Ding Xiao is actually an alchemist. I didn't even notice it before. It seems that I have a lot to learn if I want to become an auctioneer. This client must maintain a good reputation, perhaps it can help me become an auctioneer smoothly. Xiao Ding turned around and made sure no one was following him. He touched the ring and said, Yao Lao, no one is following. You are really cautious. You not only have to make sure for yourself, but also let me make sure. Yao Lao was quite appreciative. What, mother dot in dot law, is there anything? No. Yao Lao is feeling depressed again. That's good. Xiao Ding quickly took off his cloak and took out the grass mat and cotton that had changed his body shape. Yao Lao, help me put it away. Do you think this is a storage cabinet for me? Otherwise, why don't you keep mice empty inside? Yao Lao was scolded to the point of sobbing his teeth. You won't be so stingy, can't you even put something on? Xiao Ding joked. I'm afraid you can't do it yet. 
Yao Lao had no choice but to put away Xiao Ding's belongings and made up his mind to recover as soon as possible, leaving this annoying little guy. Xiao Ding suddenly felt light, and he bought some materials on the way with money. This time, the foundation building spirit liquid was auctioned for more than 30,000 gold coins, which is enough to buy more than 20 medicinal herbs. He spent all of them except for the part he wanted to return to Sunar. Among them, Warcraft Crystal Core and some medicinal herbs were directly bought at the auction house, while the rest were ordinary medicinal herbs. After buying enough, he came to an inn. Pharmacist, start working. Xiao Ding took out 20.1 medicinal herbs exchanged for selling the foundation building spirit liquid and sat down on a chair. Do you want to exhaust me and directly obtain my inheritance? The medicine always floats out with a dark face, and there is a faint smoke on the forehead, indicating a clearly bad mood. Didn't it mean three servings a day? This is a weekly quantity, and you can come every day or take care of it all at once. Xiao Ding shrugged and said, I don't think you have a big temper. Yao Lao glanced askance at Xiao Ding and said, I am the top alchemist in the mainland. Before, even the Dozong invited me without interest. Do I need to have a good temper? We need to take advantage of the current low point and take good care of our temper. Xiao Ding naturally said. Yao Lao's face stiffened and he almost twisted his neck. Isn't this guy shocked that he ignored Dozong? Surprisingly, he still managed to temper himself. Xiao Ding was too lazy to pay attention to the enraged Yao Lao. Looking at the medicinal herbs on the table, he thought of today's harvest and sighed. I have to say that the thing you refine is really profitable. Its value has increased by more than 20 times in raw materials. I have never seen someone who makes such a profit before. How about we cooperate more? Maybe you will become the richest person in Wutan City in half a year, and your wealth will be comparable to that of a country in 10 years. You may be wealthy, but I'm sure I'll tire out like a dog. Yao Lao replied angrily and picked up the medicinal herbs to start refining. No, I'll give you plenty of rest time. Spend half of your day refining medicine and take a day off every week. How about that? Xiao Ding thought of 996 and thought it was very suitable for Yao Lao, after all, Yao Lao doesn't need to eat, drink, or sprinkle. Yao Lao's beard fluttered as he stared at Xiao Ding, I am a noble alchemist, not a miner selling coolies. If you continue to disrespect me like this, do you believe I will leave directly? Hey, I'm doing it for you too. Make more money and buy what you and I need. I improve quickly, and you recover quickly. Xiao Ding's words are profound and sincere. Yao Lao frowned and felt that it was indeed beneficial. Then he shook his head and said, How do I feel that you want to sell me and ask me to count your money? How could you think that? I'm such a pure person, would I pick you as an old man? Xiao Ding refuted. I don't know, but purity definitely has nothing to do with you. If you were pure, would you run to a little girl's room every day to give her a massage? Yao Lao glanced at the person again with a disdainful expression, much like huskies. Yao Lao, you are not pure anymore. You sneak a peek at me and don't say anything, and you speculate recklessly. Whether I am a younger sister or not, even if I have any ideas, they will only have them when they grow up. Xiao Dingyi's righteous words. Now that Sun Er is still young, who would have any thoughts about a little girl, so he has no thoughts at all, treating it as a little sister without parental care. But if Sun Er grows up, he can't guarantee not to eat the grass by the nest. Cut, your mouth, I think you can become the king of verbal fights. The old medicine is becoming increasingly contemptuous. Do Wang. You underestimate me too much. Their dream is the best in the world. Xiao Ding held his head and chest high, with a confident expression on his face. Yao Lao felt nauseous when he heard this. He quickly turned his head and focused on refining medicine, muttering, I have lived for so many years, and this is the first time I have seen such a shameless and shameless person like you. Xiao Ding, however, didn't take it seriously and said calmly, if you don't have thick skin, 
you won't be able to eat enough. Moreover, you care about what these false names are doing. I don't do anything that would bully teachers, destroy ancestors, or anger people. A little thicker skin is harmless. Yao Lao shook his head upon hearing this, but his heart also moved. Sometimes, he was too embarrassed and missed out on many things, leaving behind many regrets. He couldn't help but smile, wondering what was wrong with him. He even agreed with a scoundrel's words. Glancing at the medicinal herbs, he said, I'll only refine three parts, and the rest will be refined tomorrow. Okay, after you finish practicing, pack yourself up and I'll practice for a while. Xiao Ding didn't bother to damage the old medicine, took a sip of tea, and started practicing in the same place. This made Yao Lao nod slightly. This kid has a bit of a bad breath on his mouth, and he is still very hardworking. Unfortunately, he cannot become his disciple, at most he can be a forgetful friend. Xiao Yan is still good, he needs to be obedient and obedient. End of this chapter Chapter 7 I'm really not interested in bullying you, such trash. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 I'm really not interested in bullying you, such trash without comparison, there is no difference. Yao Lao misses the previous owner of the ring. If you absorb Xiao Yan's fighting spirit, there will definitely be nothing wrong with it, and you can still deceive that little guy around. Seeing that the little fox was really practicing, he felt a little unhappy and said, aren't you interested in watching me refine medicine? This is something that most alchemists in the world never dream of. In the future, if you refine every day, I'll probably see vomiting. I'm missing this time. Xiao Ding replied with a nonchalant tone. The old medicine is not satisfying again. Some people even feel nauseous when they see his alchemy skills feeling depressed as he finished refining the medicine, he held his head high and said, it's over. Lazy to pay attention to Xiao Ding, he turned into a smoke and returned to the ring. It's quite fast, I think it can increase your workload. Xiao Ding opened his eyes and fully utilized the capitalist spirit of exploitation. I don't want to talk to you, I even want to throw you a strange fire. Yao Lao hummed in the ring. Okay, you keep being autistic. Yao Lao felt a deep anger as he listened, feeling that he could really become autistic if this continued. Xiao Ding jumped up and collected the foundation building spirit liquid, muttering happily, with a daily income of 100,000 gold coins, I will soon be the richest man in Wutan City. He left quietly and on the way home, he found an alley to take off his cloak and stuff it into the old medicine's ring, returning to normal. Taking a few steps from the other side, I suddenly heard a thud and a slightly immature moan. No need to look, he knows it's a group of children fighting. He pursed his lips and said, a group of little brats. Not interested in caring about these children's fights, he took steps to prepare to leave. Xiao Ding, if you have the ability, stop and don't run. With a cold shout, a figure rushed out of the neighboring alley to stop him. This is a 13 or 14 year old boy, handsome in appearance, with a pale complexion. Oh, you're still an acquaintance, Galio. Who are you bullying again? Xiao Ding held his arms and mockingly looked at Galio, who was slightly taller than him. This guy is one year older than him and likes to compete and stroll around the kiln. He used to come to trouble him and was beaten and cried by him on the ground. Looking at it now, after two years of absence, my confidence seems to be bursting again. Galio was seen to have taken a step back. He was no match for Xiao Ding two years ago. If it weren't for several Dou level servants following him today and Xiao Ding being alone, he wouldn't have dared to be so arrogant. Ding Gu Amidst some weak voices, several young men with swollen noses and faces walked out, followed by a girl with long legs. This girl is only 11 or 12 years old, with long, white and round legs that are already very attractive. She has a full chest, a beautiful face, and is a beautiful young girl who looks very lively. Behind him was a boy about the same age as Xiao Yan, holding two panda eyes. Xiao Yu, Xiao Ning, 
are you all free to fight with him? Xiao Ding is speechless, and the child being bullied by Galio is from his family, Ding Gu, he wants to flirt with my sister. Xiao Ning angrily pointed at her elder sister Xiao Yu. What kind of teasing? I saw something on her leg and kindly wanted to wipe it off. Galio sneered, I'll invite your sister to go shopping. It's okay if she doesn't show any respect. How dare you scold me, young master? Xiao Yu spat and said, Who wants to go shopping with you? She didn't know what kind of goods Galio was. This bastard, who was only fourteen years old, had caused trouble to many young girls in Yudin City. She couldn't avoid such people. You're kind dot hearted, come on, there's dirt on my leg too, wipe it off for me. Xiao Ding pointed to his thigh and looked coldly at Galio. This guy took the initiative to come knocking on his door and even bullied the people of his Xiao family. He must take action today to teach him a lesson, there's no need to be polite. Galio's eyes darkened as he said to a strong man next to him, wipe your mother. I've been wanting to beat you for a long time, Iron Bull. Please tidy up this kid for me. The most muscular man among the three fighters walked out with a fierce expression on his face, and a palm as big as a fan slapped Xiao Ding's head directly. His arms were as thick as Xiao Ding's thighs, filled with a faint white light, full of fighting spirit. Before the palm fell, a strong wind blew Xiao Ding's hair, pressing his clothes against his body. Be careful, Brother Ding. Xiao Yu's red lips parted slightly. She was a three-star fighter, and even if she heard that Xiao Ding might advance to the fighter, she felt it was very dangerous. Bang! A crisp sound. Xiao Ding casually tilted the strong man's palm and then made a clicking sound. The strong man's leg was broken by Xiao Ding's step and twisted to the side. Ah! The strong man, who was still raging just now, screamed in agony. His voice quickly came to an end, and he was punched in the face by Xiao Ding. His teeth and nosebleed flew out, and he fell back to the ground. Xiao Yu and the others were stunned, not expecting this strong man to be so easily knocked down. Galio, do you think having three fighters henchmen can retrieve the arena? Hey, I didn't even want to pay attention to you, you trash. Since you're so ungrateful, I'll give you another memory. Xiao Ding mobilized the wood cyclone, his fighting spirit shook, and he shook off the blood on his fist. Galio was so frightened that he said with a stern expression, You. Don't come over, I still have two fighters. Two losers. Xiao Ding sneered and rushed over directly. Bang bang. Click. The sound of being beaten and the sound of bones breaking kept coming and going. Xiao Ding's attack was very ruthless, combining his combat style with the fighting techniques of the previous life, specifically targeting the vulnerable parts of people. The result is a joint fracture and nasal blood flow. Two So Dot called fighters, stunned by Xiao Ning and others, fell to the ground and screamed in agony. Damn it, you're really a fighter. Galio's eyes were filled with jealousy. For the past two years, he had been looking for an opportunity to investigate the reality of Xiao Ding, but this guy rarely came out of hiding at home. He only met him today and was even more powerful than his subordinates. Oh, it's really sour. Your master and I reached the level of nine Dan Do Chi two years ago, making it difficult to break through to Do. Xiao Ding sneered and walked slowly over. Galio showed a look of fear as he panicked and retreated, No, you can't hit me. I am the young leader of the Galio family. Pop. In response, he was slapped and his whole body was blown up, falling to the ground and rolling twice. Galio vomited blood and teeth, his right face turned red and swollen, and his speech was leaking. Xiao Ding, I. It's just you, the young clan leader. He was slapped on the other side of the face and was knocked unconscious. Well, that's how symmetry works. Xiao Ding, who was somewhat obsessive dot compulsive, nodded in satisfaction and caught a glimpse of Xiao Ning's panda eye. He then punched Galio in the eye. With one punch and one panda eye, Galio's eyes sparkled with gold stars. 
Children, don't provoke the people of my Xiao family in the future. I'm really not interested in bullying you like garbage. Xiao Ding patted Galio's pig-like face, and after speaking, one knee pressed against Galio's chin. The latter flew up with a stream of blood and fell onto several dog legs, fainting. Nearby, there were also several people watching the play, including Xiao Ning, who were all frightened by Xiao Ding's cruelty. Xiao Ding clapped his hands and turned away leisurely. He murmured in his heart. Why did I bully the children again? It's so impolite. Next time I have to bully adults as well. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Devouring Medicinal Liquid Nine Star Fighter You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Devouring Medicinal Liquid Nine Star Fighter Xiao Ding has no sense of achievement. Galio is too weak for him, just like adults compared to children. What is the sense of achievement when adults bully children? Unless they are psychologically abnormal, who would be happy to do these things? Ding. Brother Ding. In a crisp voice, a pair of long legs caught up from behind. Xiao Yuding stood tall at the pavilion, with a tall figure and a beautiful face like a flower. At this moment, his face turned red, his eyes worshipped him, and he shyly said, Thank you, Brother Ding, for helping us. You've met another pretty girl again, this is the second one today. Your peach blossom luck is good. Yao Lao secretly teases. Who let you sneak a peek at a beautiful woman if you don't respect the elderly? Xiao Ding roast. Can I still close myself if I have nothing to do? The old medicine turned against the old. Xiao Ding was too lazy to pay attention to the old man. Looking at the bright red and sexy lips of his cousin, he thought to himself that this long-legged beauty was not within the third generation, and it was not impossible to consider it. Watched by Xiao Ding's deep gaze, Xiao Yu's face became even more rosy, with both hands pinching the corners of her clothes and anxiously lowering her head, very tempting. It's nothing, everyone is of the same ethnicity. I naturally need to help when I see it. Xiao Ding smiled and said, go back quickly. Strength is the foundation. Next time, if you can solve Galio's pervert on your own, it will be more interesting. Well, I will work hard to cultivate. Xiao Yu felt the care of big brother Xiao Ding and was very happy. Her younger brother Xiao Ning, with panda eyes, curiously asked, Brother Ding, how many stars have you become? For you who haven't reached the level of a fighter, how many stars are important? Xiao Ding glanced at the latter and said, Let's gather the cyclone of dough first. Don't waste time on fighting. After speaking, he strode away, and the few members of the Xiao family who had been taught a lesson behind him were lost in thought. Ah, the Xiao tribe is much different from the ancient and Seoul tribes. Except for one Xiao Yan, the other's talents are too average. When they leave Wutan City, they disappear from the crowd. Xiao Ding couldn't help but sigh as he thought about the fighting spirit and cultivation of Xiao Yu's siblings. You can't just wait for me to activate the duty bloodline. You need to use some resources to cultivate your clan members. Xiao Ding pondered and returned to his room, saying to the old medicine practitioner, Next, work overtime and refine an extra foundation building liquid every day. Dot. Yao Lao floated out with a sorrowful expression on his face and said, Do you know how to respect the elderly and love the young? I am in such a weak state. Look, it has become transparent. Do you want me to refine more? Making you work overtime is a conscientious discovery of an excellent capitalist. Xiao Ding said solemnly, If you refine more, you will receive more rewards. What is a capitalist? It doesn't sound like a good person, but it still has a conscience. Yao Lao pouted and said, I don't refine. You can find anyone you like. Do you dare to go on strike? Believe it or not, I'll sell you. Xiao Ding's face was not friendly. You sell it, I would rather die than be squeezed by you. Yao Lao held his head and chest high, with an indomitable appearance. 
How about I ask you to absorb 30% more fighting spirit on top of the original foundation? Xiao Ding gave the condition expressionlessly. I'm too tired, I need to add a little, 50%. Yao Lao glanced at Xiao Ding and felt a heartbeat. After he wakes up, he can recover on his own, but if Xiao Ding actively provides fighting energy for him to absorb, his recovery will naturally be faster. Deal. Xiao Ding smiled. Yao Lao hesitated and said, How do I feel like I've been sold by you little fox again? Are you always at a disadvantage? No. How could I sell you? It seems like this. Mr. Yao thinks there's something wrong, but he can't find any problem. Xiao Ding chuckled inwardly. He has now reached level 18 of the devouring system, and the system's devouring ability is 18 times that of him. He can obtain 18% of the system's devouring Do Qi, which is 3.24 Do Qi absorbed under his normal state. Yao Lao still absorbs the level of Do Qi when he was a star Do practitioner. Even if he increases it by 50%, it doesn't have much impact on him. I'll give you all the medicinal herbs. You can refine them all at once, or you can refine four portions a day. Xiao Ding said, take off the ring and let the old medicine man arrange it himself. He took a foundation building liquid to practice. Let the servant fetch a bucket of water and pour in the foundation building liquid. The water turns green with a light fragrance. Pop it. Xiao Ding jumped into the meditation and began practicing. Ding, the medicine liquid has been detected and meets the phagocytic requirements. Meets the phagocytic criteria, will it be phagocytic? Don't devour it for now. Xiao Ding was not surprised that the system could devour the foundation building liquid. Whether it is medicinal herbs, medicinal liquids, medicinal powders, or pills, they are essentially medicinal substances that can be engulfed by the system. He didn't immediately devour it, mainly to compare it. This is the first thing he has obtained that the alchemist has refined, and it is necessary to conduct an experiment. What is the difference between devouring medicinal herbs and devouring this refined medicinal liquid? He first absorbed the power from the medicine normally, and suddenly felt the medicine enter his pores. His whole body was warm, and the absorption speed of doji qi increased significantly. A bit gentle, after all, this is a person suitable for the realm of doji qi. I am now an 8-star do practitioner, and the effect is much worse. After practicing for a while, he stopped. I don't know what the effect will be after refining the old medicine and then purifying it through the system. Xiao Ding gave birth to expectations and chose to be devoured by the system. The system quickly fed back a pure medicinal force that spread through his body, causing him to feel warm all over and then heat up, like a flame burning inside his body. Xiao Ding frowned, this medicine is more than twice as pure. The spirit liquid, which was originally suitable for the realm of fighting spirit, rose to a higher level after being devoured by the system, which was suitable for the cultivation of the fighter. There is still purification effect, but not much, after all, Yao Lao has also been purified during refining. Xiao Ding was a bit curious about whether he had the effect of directly consuming medicinal herbs. Not yet, there is a Warcraft crystal core in the prescription, and the system is temporarily unable to devour it. Xiao Ding regained his senses, but he still secretly took a medicinal herb to try. Recalling the order of different medicinal herbs during the refining of the old medicine, he had the system devour them and combine them with absorption. The final effect is somewhat similar to the foundation building spirit liquid, which can accelerate the absorption speed of Do Qi, but the difference is too large. It seems that it's not possible. It's better to directly devour the medicine refined by the alchemist. Xiao Ding threw the medicinal herbs back and stopped trying, continuing to absorb spiritual fluids for cultivation. Three days later, with a powerful aura nurturing within Xiao Ding's body, it spread and formed a gust of wind. In the fluctuating water, Xiao Ding exhaled a mouthful of turbid air and opened his eyes. With the assistance of the system, the medicinal power has been greatly purified, and the person who can reach the nine-star dough in one breath is not bad. 
Xiao Ding shook hands and felt a lot of fighting spirit in his body, with a satisfied expression. Little fox, come over here and let me suck. The voice of Yao Lao came over. What's the rush? I'll let you inhale for three days at once. Xiao Ding pursed his lips, got up, put on his clothes, and walked over. Upon entering the door, I saw Yao Lao proudly pointing at a pile of medicinal herbs and saying, Kid, do you want to try refining the herbs yourself? Tell me, it's not that I won't teach you. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Unexpectedly, a demon appeared on the border. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Unexpectedly, a demon appeared on the border Xiao Ding's face twitched as he knew that the old man had mistakenly thought he wanted to refine medicine but was too embarrassed to say so. In fact, that was not the case. You're overthinking it. I'm just trying to see what's the difference between soaking herbs directly and using your refined medicinal liquid. It seems like you still have some skills, not just pretending. Dot. Yao Lao remained silent and then his voice grew louder. Are you questioning my alchemy or insulting me? If you think so, there might be both, hee hee. Xiao Ding's words made Yao Lao angry and deformed. You're bloated. Xiao Ding pointed to Yao Lao's inflated body and said with righteousness, there is a heaven beyond heaven. You can't be complacent and think that your level of medicine refining is the best in the world. Maybe I will soon surpass you. Yao Lao Ben listened to the first half of the sentence, but the second half made him sneer and say, If you can surpass me, I will give you this strange fire. Okay, you're so generous, I'll take note of it for now. Xiao Ding let out a wicked smile and found that Yao Lao had already refined twenty medicinal herbs, which would cost six to seven hundred thousand in gold coins. This is equivalent to the entire Xiao family's financial situation. Maybe they won't be able to make so much money at once. Xiao Ding smiled and praised, you've refined so much in a day, and your efficiency is quite good. Don't have any ulterior motives towards me. Next, I will replenish my fighting spirit. Yao Lao was afraid that Xiao Ding would increase his dosage again, so he looked alert. Okay. As he walked over and put on the ring, a strong fighting spirit surged in. Suck. Yao Lao's pupils shrank and he felt the fighting energy disappearing from Xiao Ding's body nearby. He was surprised and said, You haven't practiced meditation, but can you absorb the energy of heaven and earth? Yeah, is this difficult? Xiao Ding asked back, The system can absorb the qi of the dough at all times, so much so that he can't even absorb it. It's all stored. Damn it, your soul power isn't strong enough to be versatile, is it just a natural talent? Yao Lao widened his eyes and absorbed the energy of heaven and earth in a non-cultivation state. Even the low dot level Dou Qi was at least capable of the Dou King, so he was surprised. See, it's rare to see many strange things. At first glance, I've never seen the world before. I'm a genius, so I can't judge it by common sense. Seeing Xiao Ding's proud expression, Yao Lao didn't get angry, but showed a look of contemplation. No wonder your cultivation speed is so fast. It turns out that you have a special physique. I just said how you feel like a bottomless abyss. Yao Lao couldn't help but glance at the boy more and mutter, I didn't expect such a demon like you to emerge from such a remote place. How do I feel like you're scolding me? Xiao Ding squinted his eyes. I don't want to talk to you. Yao Lao blew his beard and returned to the ring to recover. He was too lazy to talk to this kid, otherwise the more he said, the more angry he became. Xiao Ding shrugged his shoulders and arrived at his second brother's residence with a few pieces of foundation building spirit liquid. Xiao Li is eleven years old this year, with slender and soft eyebrows that resemble his mother. Due to Xiao Ding's preference for steady development, these two younger brothers also practice with him every day. Xiao Li's cultivation level has reached the eighth level of Dou Qi, and his cultivation speed is second only to him. Big brother, when are we going out for a walk? We've been holding back for the past two years. 
seeing his elder brother, Shaoli said more than once. Let's talk about reaching the ninth level of Doji Qi. Xiao Ding felt that these two younger brothers had a lower cultivation level, so they should have reached the ninth level of Dou Qi by the age of eleven. It's a bit difficult, I've only reached the eighth dan and can't compare to you, big brother. Xiao Li smiled bitterly. He had worked hard enough, but still couldn't compare to his elder brother. Even the third brother's cultivation speed is faster than him, which puts a bit of pressure on him. Xiao Ding did not blame his second younger brother. He was a systematic person, and the higher his level, the faster he practiced. In fact, his third younger brother Xiao Yan was the most talented person in the Xiao family's duty, with a speed comparable to his previous system assistants. Xiao Li has nothing, his talent is similar to him, and it is rare for him to reach the aura of eight Dan combat at the age of eleven. So I'll bring you something to use secretly, don't tell anyone. Xiao Li's hand mysteriously took out a medicine bottle and asked the servant to fetch a bucket of water. After opening it, he took a drop of foundation building spirit liquid and threw it in. Big brother, this is. As soon as Xiao Li smelled the fragrance of the medicine, he felt it was not easy. Ordinary potion, your brother and I refined it. Go in and practice it. Xiao Ding spoke lightly. Little fox, you don't have face. Even the achievements of the old man should be taken as your own, said the medicine expert, causing dissatisfaction Xiao Ding couldn't respond at this moment, looking calm as his second brother entered. Xiao Li practiced for a while and found that the absorption speed of Doji Qi had increased significantly. He quickly opened his eyes in shock and said, Big brother, this. Don't ask too much, big brother won't harm you. In the future, add a drop of water to practice and don't let me down. Xiao Ding patted his second brother's shoulder and spoke earnestly. Hmm. Xiao Li's delicate eyes turned slightly red and he nodded solemnly. That's it, I'll send some to Zio Yanzi. You need to cheer on and don't be caught up by the third party. Xiao Ding smiled and asked his second brother to continue practicing, then closed the door and left. Next door, Zio Yanzi is lazily lying on the grass. He is now eight years old and still a young lady, but with dark eyes and rare maturity in children, he is wandering. Seeing his older brother approaching, he quickly jumped up like a spring and covered his buttocks, saying, Big brother, don't move your feet. I'll take a break, otherwise I'll be bored with practicing all day. In the past two years, his elder brother has urged him to practice, and he has kicked him every time he lay on the grass reminiscing about earth time or his mother. The sixth stage of Doji Qi is not bad. Xiao Ding felt the cultivation of this fellow villager and cheap younger brother and nodded in satisfaction. Nowadays, there is no waste of Dou Qi to refine Sunur's meridians. This kid's cultivation has improved a bit faster. It can be seen that women do indeed affect the speed of drawing swords. Oh no, cultivation speed. As for him, I'm sorry, he has a system and it doesn't affect him. Isn't that good? I can reach the level of 9 Dan Do Qi at the fastest in two and a half years, and I will definitely break your record, big brother. Xiao Yan confidently spoke. Kid, Judan is just the beginning, you can never catch up with me. Xiao Ding rubbed Xiao Yanzi's head and handed over a bottle of foundation building spirit liquid. Adding a drop of water to soak for cultivation is beneficial to the body. What is this? Xiao Yan, who was not very convinced, curiously opened it and found that it was a medicinal liquid. It's for laying the foundation, go back and practice. Xiao Ding kicked Xiao Yanzi's buttocks and asked him to return to his room to practice. He arrived at a courtyard some distance away. To be honest, this courtyard is even better than what they live in, quiet and peaceful, faintly reflecting the extraordinary qualities of the residents. Both of my younger brothers have given it to me, and I can't forget this possible future daughter. In. Law. Xiao Ding looked at the courtyard and muttered to himself. Little fox, it's really malicious to use the things that I have worked hard to refine to please the little girl. There's a powerful guy inside. You're not afraid of being exposed, 
just continue to harm me. Xiao Ding whispered a reminder, and suddenly Yao Lao closed his mouth and quieted down. He strode over and soon saw Sun Er, who was much taller and cute enough to explode. At the age of seven, Sun Er is still a bit chubby, with shiny black hair, big and bright eyes, and long eyelashes. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Adolescent Daughter Sunner. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Adolescent Daughter Sunner. She has a cherry-like mouth, skin that surpasses snow, wearing a light blue dress full of vitality and beauty, just like a little elf. Brother Ding, why did you come today before it got dark? Seeing Xiao Ding, Sun Er smiled and her eyebrows were as delicate as crescent moon. Can't brother come earlier? Xiao Ding walked over to pinch Sun Er's small face, but was avoided by the girl with a smile, but he still picked her up. Scratching Sun Er's armpits, causing the little girl to giggle, Xiao Ding kissed Sun Er and said, Brother, let me show you something good. A few minutes later, there was an extra bucket of water in the room, and Sun Er sat inside with a red face. She was only wearing a belly bag and shorts, perhaps due to precocious psychology, appearing a bit shy. At this moment, Xiao Ding had many abnormal thoughts about the little girl, and there was no difference between the girl and the boy. He waved his hand and urged Sun Er to practice, saying, What's the blush of the little girl? Come and practice and see. Brother Ding, Sun Er is already quite old. Sun Er shyly said, Can you not look at me? Xiao Ding was stunned, realizing for the first time that Sun Er seemed to have matured a bit. He looked down upon Sun Er, or was confused by Sun Er's lowly appearance. In fact, Sun Er has a strong innate ability due to her innate talent and bloodline, and at this moment, her cognitive ability has completely reached the level of an adult. If it weren't for this, I wouldn't have come to the Xiao family at the age of a few to seize the Tuasha ancient emperor Jade. Xiao Ding didn't know that Sun Er had recently learned a lot about men and women's affairs. He pouted nonchalantly and said, Little girl, why are you shy? If you want to be shy, you have to take off your clothes before you talk. Sun Er's face turned even redder and she pouted, Brother Ding, you better turn your head around, otherwise I won't be able to concentrate. Okay. Xiao Ding didn't make fun of Sun Er anymore, so he turned to let Sun Er practice quietly. Soon, Sun Er also felt the effect of the medicine and knew that it was not an ordinary product. Although she is not from the ancient tribe, she has a wise mind and is taught by others in secret, so her knowledge is not bad. Don't ask too much, let's just thank you, brother, for lending me money back then. Xiao Ding touched Sun Er's head and took out a card, saying, This is for you. In the future, you can use this medicinal liquid to cultivate, and your foundation will be more solid. Brother Xiao Ding. Sun Er was somewhat moved, the value of this medicine must far exceed the money Sun Er lent you. Sun Er's heart is priceless, what is this medicinal liquid worth? Xiao Ding waved his hand and said, Are you practicing on your own next, or will I watch you practice? Sun Er realized that she was being stared at by Xiao Ding again, and her face turned red as she said, Brother Xiao Ding is so kind, shouldn't he have ulterior motives towards Sun Er? Not now, but Sun Er must be a great beauty when she grows up, maybe she will. Xiao Ding laughed heartily, causing Sun Er to feel shy. He didn't make much of a joke and asked Sun Er to practice well before turning around and leaving. Not long after he left, a shadow appeared inside the house. Ling Ying muttered, This kid really speaks his mind. Ling Lao, please call him, young master, dot. Just now, the lovely and amiable Sun Er suddenly gained a sense of authority, correcting Ling Ying's disrespect. Ling Ying was slightly surprised. Miss, you really value Xiao Ding. Also, in this Xiao clan, Xiao Ding cares about Mississippi. He responded with a bitter smile and then picked up the medicine to check. After taking one drop, his pupils contracted and he said, Wow, this medicine is not simple. It's not something that ordinary people make. No matter how good or bad it is, I will use it. Sunar held her head high, very happy. 
Miss, this medicine is really not easy. Ling Ying looked at the medicine bottle solemnly and said, I have seen the alchemist within the clan refine similar spiritual liquids. But they cannot compare to this. Sunar was also surprised. She knew the level of the medicine refining master in the clan, and that was something that fathers would value very much. Is it difficult? Is there such a person around Brother Xiao Ding? Miss, should we go investigate? Ling Ying said, then shook her head with some worry and said, it may be dangerous for me to go. A alchemist of this level is definitely not easy. Maybe it's from other tribes. It's best to tell the master. No need. Sun Er shook her head and said, Brother Xiao Ding gave me this medicine regardless of the risk. He had no ill intentions, and the people behind him wouldn't do anything harmful. Her eyes lit up and she looked very happy. Brother Xiao Ding has also met a noble person. He has such great talent, and his future achievements will definitely not be worse than the self-righteous geniuses in the clan. No, he will surpass them. Sunna was extremely happy in her heart, thinking about some things, and her face turned a little red. At this moment, Xiao Ding's position in Sun Er's heart is irreplaceable. Ling Ying thought for a moment and felt that it was indeed the case. Xiao Ding had something good to give to Miss immediately, which was indeed rare and not enough to threaten them. He transformed into a phantom and dispersed, leaving a bottle of medicine quietly on the table. This girl is really not easy. How do you know there's an old guy around her? Returning to the room, Yao Lao couldn't help but speak. Inferred. Xiao Ding couldn't claim to know the plot, he made reasonable speculations. The older generation of the family is very polite to this girl, and she is not from the Xiao family's bloodline. She can lend me a large amount of money when she is a few years old. All of these indicate that Sunar's background is not simple. Such a little girl stays in the Xiao family without even a servant. How could there be no one to protect her in secret? Undoubtedly, it's a little fox. So when you say you wash someone's scriptures and cut off their marrow every day, you see that this girl is not simple and treats her like a child bride. Old medicine brings bad laughter. No, don't talk nonsense. I'm not that kind of person. Xiao Ding does not admit that this is at most a cultivation plan, definitely not a child bride full of feudal atmosphere. Cut, if you have the ability, don't mind her in the future. I don't believe the old medicine. Xiao Ding dared not answer. Sunar, a peerless beauty in the future, could still eat a soft meal. He must have some ideas. He he, look at it, you kid treat him like a child bride. Yao Lao finally encountered Xiao Ding's embarrassing situation and bluntly dealt a blow, saying, at a young age, I had ulterior motives, but unfortunately, I only have a big cabbage. You are the pig. Xiao Ding heard that Yao Lao was cursing himself in disguise and couldn't help but say, even if I treat Sunar as a child bride, what's wrong? We don't have any blood relationship. Look, admit it. Yao Lao smiled mischievously and said, how can one be enough? I think the long-legged beauty and the plump beauty from the auction house are both very good. You can consider it. This way, we can gather enough for three, and then four, which is the standard three wives and four concubines. Not respecting the elderly. Xiao Ding rolled his eyes and said, but I can indeed take your opinion. If someone says anything about me being promiscuous in the future, I'll say you taught me. Yao Lao said speechlessly, don't talk nonsense. When did I teach you these things? Anyway, it's what you taught. Xiao Ding held his head high, brainless as he shook the pot. He really has ideas, Yun Yun, Medusa, Little Doctor Immortal, and Green Scales, these are not exactly four, it's really a coincidence. You little fox, your mouth is too round and your skin is too thick. There's nothing I can do about you. Yao Lao was extremely depressed, so as he spoke, he turned around to him. End of this chapter